So the last part of this section deals with a concept that you're probably familiar with, but if it's been a while since you've seen it or if you haven't seen it at all, we're going to go into it in detail. So we're talking about the Pythagorean theorem. It states a relationship involving the lengths of the sides of a right triangle. And it only works with right triangles. And what does it mean to be a right triangle? We've got a 90 degree angle involved. So I think it's helpful to draw a picture in the beginning as we start to talk about these different pieces. So a little box in the corner tells me that this angle is 90 degrees. We're dealing with a right triangle. And let's start to label all the pieces. So the side opposite the 90 degree angle, the longest side of the triangle, is called the what? Hypotenuse. Hypotenuse. So that's my longest piece. Then the other two. The other two sides are called the legs of the triangle. Okay. So if we give these some labels, I'm making a leg down here, A, the other leg, B, and the hypotenuse, I'm going to represent that length with C. So we don't have to write out all those terms. We can sum it up easily. And there's a relationship between the three of these. Anybody remember what it is? So if I square the legs and I look at their sum, it's equivalent to the square of the hypotenuse. A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Doesn't matter which leg we write first, since we can add in any order that we want. It's commutative. But our hypotenuse squared is always on its own, equal to the hypotenuse squared. So we're going to use that relationship to solve some more quadratic equations. So let's look at that first example. John is building a wood scaffold to use for a painting project. The scaffold has diagonal braces that are five feet long and that span a distance of three feet. How high does each brace reach vertically? It's very confusing. Let's go ahead and draw a picture. So when we're looking at some scaffolding, okay, I've got my little box, rectangle, whatever you want to call it here. It's not going to be very proportional, but that's fine. And we've got some diagonal braces in our scaffolding. And we can fill in the pieces of information that we know. So, the scaffold has diagonal braces that are five feet long. So if I'm looking just at one piece of my triangle, one piece of the square, which is a triangle, excuse me, I can label this diagonal distance because we, we have a value for it. I know that this is five feet long. What else do we know? The scaffold has braces, diagonal, that are five feet long and that span a distance of three feet. So I know one of my legs in the hypotenuse of this 90 degree triangle. We want to figure out how high does each brace reach vertically. So we're looking for that distance. We'll let it be x. So we have a right triangle. We don't care about the other piece of the scaffolding. We just need to deal with this one, because we need to figure out this vertical height. It's going to be the same on the other sides. So, what is that relationship that we have? Leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. And I'm going to drop the units for now. We'll deal with them in the end. But what does that give us? So, if I square the first leg, 3, add it to the square of the second one, what is that going to equal? 5 squared, the hypotenuse squared. So let's start to evaluate. I've got 9 plus x squared gives me 25. So we need everything on one side, side equal to 0. Which part do we want to move where? So I want to move 25 to the left, since my x squared is already positive. And I'm going to write that first, because I like to see the variables come first. And I've got 9, and I'm subtracting 25. So I've got x squared minus 16 is 0. And we need a factor. Binomial, so our first question should be, is it a difference of squares? And it is. Factors in new x plus 4, x minus 4. 
and I've got a product being equal to zero. So either the first piece is equal to zero, which gives me x is negative four. Talking about a length here, so that one's out. My other option is gonna give me positive four. That works for a distance. So, what about that vertical? Vertical height. X is four, and what are my units in this case? We are dealing with feet everywhere. Four feet high. Height, I wanted to write height. Four feet high. And how can we check these? I can always plug it back in, check and make sure that this relationship holds when I actually plug in four. We still need to satisfy that Pythagorean relationship. Last problem of this section. Helpful to draw a picture. A ladder of length 13 feet is placed against a building in such a way that the distance from the top of the ladder to the ground is seven feet more than the distance from the bottom of the ladder to the building. We need to find both of those distances. So we'll draw a little picture. Don't make fun of my house. I know I should have gone to art school. Here's my little house and here's my ladder leaning up against that building. Ladder, 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 ladder. Cool. You get the idea. And we can fill in the pieces of information that we have and the parts that we need. So the ladder is of length 13 feet. So I know the hypotenuse of this right triangle, hopefully you can see we're dealing with the right triangle here, is 13. And the other part that we know, it's placed against a building in such a way that the distance from the top of the ladder to the ground, so this distance from the top of the ladder to the ground, is seven feet more than the distance from the bottom of the ladder to the building. So this chunk is seven feet longer than this piece. So if I let this unknown be length x between there, then what does that tell me about this relationship? It is x plus another seven feet, x plus seven. So we've got our little right triangle involved. Let's plug in the pieces and see what we get out. Pythagorean theorem tells us a squared plus b squared is c squared. Legs, some of their squares, is the hypotenuse squared. So what are we looking at? First leg plus second leg, the entire quantity squared, is hypotenuse squared. So what's involved? We have to foil and start simplifying out because I need a plain trinomial or polynomial that I can factor having it set equal to zero. So let's see. We've got x squared, and that's already simplified. I'm going to use my little cheat to evaluate this. So I get the first part squared plus 2 times the first times the second. So 2 times 7 gives me 14 times x, 14x, plus the last part squared. 7 times 7 is 49. 13 times 13, 169. So we want to combine our like terms and eventually get everything on one side. So I have two factors of x squared and 14x. If I subtract 169 from both sides, what am I looking at? It's going to be equal to zero. And what constant am I subtracting? Negative 120. So now that we've got plain polynomial, First question, is there anything that I can factor out of all of those terms to make the numbers easier? Two, because they're all even. So we're looking at x squared plus 7x minus 60 is 0. And does that 2 contribute at all to our answer? No, because we're just worried about those x values. So if we want to, we can divide everything by 2. What I do to one side, I have to do to the other, and it just goes away. Zero divided by anything is still zero. 
Okay, so now I've got my plain trinomial, and it's the easiest form that I can see. We need to factor. I know that there's a 1 out on the front. It's going to be an x and an x. It's equal to 0. I need to break up negative 60 to things and multiplying to negative 60, adding to 7. So what combo, 12 and 5, will get us there? Which one needs to be positive? The bigger one, smaller one needs to be negative. This order doesn't matter. And what's next? Two things being multiplied are equal to zero. So either the first piece is equal to zero, which gives me negative 12. Can I have negative 12 for, you know, a distance on the ground? No. Or, What's my other option? X is 5. That's reasonable. So, what were we asked to find? Find both distances. So, the distance from the building to the bottom of the ladder and from the ground to the top of the ladder. So, what piece do we have right now? The distance down below. So, the ladder is 5, what are my units in this case? We want to look. Feet. 5 feet away from the house, or the building. I guess it doesn't say that it's a house. And how high up is it? So the ladder is 5 feet away from the building, and another 7 feet longer than that. I've got and 7 plus 5, which will give me 12 feet up. We found both distances. And again, how can we check? How can I check to make sure that this is true? Plugging it back into our relationship with the Pythagorean theorem. So leg 5 feet squared plus 12 feet squared, is that really equal to 13 squared? Okay, evaluate it out. See if it's true. We always have checks in this class. Okay, so we have that set up. We need to know that relationship with a right triangle.